Hi everybody, my name is Shannon. Welcome to my channel, Another Yarn. Thank you so much for joining me Christmas Day. It is a wonderful, true gift and a blessing that you are here. Thank you so much. Well, it is Christmas. In my household, we do everything on Christmas Eve. So we had the kids over and we had all the noise and the chaos and wonderful food that we got to share with each other. We had some friends that joined us also and, uh, you know, and their children. So it was, it was a wonderful, wonderful blessing to be able to share that time with each other and just enjoy having the grandkids running around. It's, it was wonderful. It truly, truly was. Today for us, is going to be resting, relaxing. I'm going to be with my husband all day long. We will go ahead, we'll attend church and, uh, you know, just hang out with the two of us. And that is it. I don't think we have anything else on our time. I don't think that we have any other plans, or at least not that I'm aware of. It's just enjoy one another and being thankful for having the time that we've had with our family and being able to get together. I mean, it was just absolutely wonderful. Besides today being Christmas, which is just, I cannot believe that we are at the end of the year. I, I truly cannot believe that. It's also Monday. And Monday, what I have been doing is, what have I done for the entire week, right? This is my Monday in review. So this is a Christmas edition Monday in review. What did I have on the needles and hooks? What kept me busy at that last minute trying to get things done? And it admits the last minute shopping, which I didn't actually have a lot to do. I tend to get things throughout the year and uh, I always am surprised when it comes. I, I try to wrap things. Um, Christmas Eve Eve is when I wrap things because we do our celebration on Christmas Eve. So I'll do all of that. We had one mishap. Oh, yes. It was sad. It broke my heart. I almost cried. Not going to lie. I'm just I'm not going to lie. My family likes to have marzipan candy for Christmas. And we got that and we had, we had a Walmart bag. It wasn't really Walmart, but you know, like that type of bag, right? Throw away bag. And we had the marzipan candy and my husband said, okay, well, you know, it was, it was in my office. All the stuff was in my office. It needed to be wrapped. And they said, Hey, the dogs were going in your office. I moved all the marzipan and I put it on the top shelf above my bookcase. What he didn't notice. And I, I didn't notice either is not only did it have the marzipan candy, in the bag, it had a bag of frozen French fries. Okay. Cause we'd gone to the store and everything. I don't know why the baggers put the frozen food on top of the candy, but they did, you know, and it wasn't noticed and it had been up there for a couple of weeks. Because, you know, I don't go in to wrap or anything like that. I'm surprised we didn't smell it. So we went to get that and the potatoes had leaked unopened of course but you know they thawed and they leaked and it smelled horrible and the candy obviously smelled horrible and you know it had to be thrown out and it was you know like oh that's that's always the big highlight you know the kid the kids uh my husband and the two boys they really really like the marzipan they get the marzipan and I also do the pfeffernus cookies and things like that and it all had to go in the trash. It was sad. Um, my saving grace, <laughs> there were three of them that were not in that bag. So I was still able to give three out. So that was, that was wonderful. But yeah, that was, that was my disheartening. I'm like, what? But we always do marzipan for Christmas. It's not like we could have gone out and gotten any more or anything along that line, right? It was done. That was it. You know, oh, it was, it was sad, but what are you going to do? You know, you can't, you can't just feed it to them. That would be bad. <laughs> That would be bad. So this week, crafting wise, crafting and yarn and all sorts of other fun stuff, besides it, of course, being Christmas, I was working feverishly on a lot of different projects, trying to try to finish things off. And then it was Wednesday, Wednesday night, I was preparing for my things we're making Thursday video. And that was the first finished thing I had for the week. That was it. And I made these, these adorable. Did you see them? Did you see the little, I have a little twisted sense of humor. So I have my, my cute little gingerbread men, right? And then I had to do one with, 
it cracks me up every time I look at it, you know? So we've got the, there we go. We got the one with the bitten leg, right? You know, um, I thought it was quirky, corny, cute. So I had those and you can call it whatever you want to, one project, three projects, whatever. But that was the first thing I got off the needles this week. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna, with everything else going on, I'm not gonna get anything done. I just, it's just, you know how that goes, right? But hey, I got accomplishment. I got three gingerbread men done. That is total accomplishment. One stitch is all you need to progress. Just one stitch. And by golly, I got three of these little cookies done. There you go. So that was nice. I was really, really happy about that. And then it dawned on me. It's like, wait a minute, I'm working this Advent. Oh my gosh. If you have not seen it, I've been working on the Arnie and Carlos Christmas stocking Advent knit along. It started on December the 1st. I started late and I've been working on that all week. And uh, well, more than more than one week, obviously. And I've been doing double videos to show that. So I have separate videos for that. But I'm going to show the finished one because, hey, I finished them this week. And it's sad to say the Advent is over, right? December 24th is done and uh, it's finished and I am so thrilled. So I'm going to go ahead and show those because uh, I am so tickled with them. I made two because there's something in me that says, what? One is stressful. Uh, it wasn't really stressful, but one is a timeline to go ahead and getting a clue every week. It was six rounds, but still that's six rounds or not every week, every single day, six rounds every single day and staying caught up. Um, and I, I, you know, we got through like half of the first one and then I got this wild hair, like I'm going to make another one and I'm going to get it done by Christmas. That's a little crazy because, you know, there's things, right? There's, there's stuff, right? You know, there's, there's staring at things and procrastinating that needs to happen. You should have saw me wrapping presents. I'm not going to lie. That, that took way longer than it should have. <laughs> it took way longer. If I would have just wrapped instead of staring and going, oh, there's so much, it would have been done so much faster. So, you know, I'm drama. Hello. It had to make it drama. But anyway, so I had this gorgeous, look at this. Oh my gosh. It is so pretty. This absolutely stunning stocking on the needles. And I think I was about here with this one and decided, let me start another one because why wouldn't I want to start another one? I, I swear it was the yarn. It was. I just, so this right here, look at the sparkle. So that maroon, that's big twist twinkle and the color is mulberry. And the green is the premier everyday worsted. And look at this. This right here is all I had left of that little tiny skein of yarn. I think it's like 131 yards. This is it. There you go. Talk about using all of your yardage. I am so proud of that. Um, so I was a little stressed out. Well, stressed is a little over exaggerative, but I was concerned. That's a good way to put it. When there was so much green here, because again, we didn't know what the pattern was, right? And everything was balanced. We started with the green, you know, and you had the red, a little bit of green here and going like that. And then, and then the green again, you know, so it was balanced. And then when it came up with so much green up here, I was like, wait a minute, are we going to have more red? What's going on? And then, you know, here, this was the last day before the, the ribbing. And I'm like, what, what are we doing here? What are, are we going to go into red? And how, how is that going to look? I think it looks great. We have the candles and we have the stars. And I think that is absolutely beautiful. And it is so funny to me. My husband loved this. I mean, the, the, the maroon color with the sparkle is very sophisticated, right? And, and I, and I like that more than like the, the typical garish red or just the, the, the bright, you know, the bright red, the hot red or whatever. I like the, the, the darker colors like this. And so does he. So he really liked this and he thought it was beautiful when I first started it, but then he got a look of something else. And it reminds me of that meme. You know, the one where you've got the two pretty girls, the guy's walking with the girl and she's looking at him like, Ugh. because he's looking back at the other lady that they just passed, you know, like kind of checking out somebody else. And, and the girl that he's with is like, are you kidding me? What, what? I, hello. I love that meme. It's hilarious. That is how he 
looks at this one. Oh my goodness. He had this one and loved it until I started this one. And then now it's like, whatever. <laughs> it's the funniest thing ever. He is so cute. So this is again, the big twist with the blue and the gray are both sparkle. And then the white is just their value white. Absolutely love it. My husband is a little bit over the top. He's, he cracks me up. So when, when I was doing this one, I'm like, Hey, look, that red right there, that's candles, right? We got the top of the candle. And I said, that's going to look fantastic with the blue, the gray and the white. And he said, yeah, it would look really great if you turned this to a yellow flame. I'm like, are you kidding me? Really? That's where we're going with this? Yeah. So as you see, I did not do that. But if I chose to, I do have yellow. I have a light yellow, a light yellow sparkle, but I probably wouldn't go that route. But I do have a nice bright yellow. I could do a duplicate stitch and sew that on all the way around after the fact, since I've, I've, obviously I finished the stocking. Or I could do it on one or two just to see what it looks like and then decide if I wanted to do it on the rest of them. So, you know, options, right? So I can still do that because, again, my husband, he likes things a certain way and I tend to give in because... I like to see him smile and I like to see him happy. It's just how that works. So this was a labor of love. My first time doing an actual knit along following the clues. Um, and I was really happy with it. I, well, obviously I made two of them. I mean, that's just a little insane. I'm not going to lie, right? Love these. I mean, look at those. Let me see if I can back up. I don't think I can back up far enough, but there we go. <laughs> we can, we've got it a little bit, but you can see how large they are. This one's 27 inches long and this one's 29 inches long. And that was because I held the yarn a lot tighter. Same yarn, same needles, same knitter. Okay, so if you do do that with garments or anything like that, and you're like, hey, get gauge, does it really make much of a difference? Yes, yes, it does. Because if this were a garment, one of them probably wouldn't fit you, right? You know, so that's just a way to look at it. So absolutely thrilled with these. Sad to see them come to an end. It has just been such a big part of what I've been doing all month long. Like, oh, it's what am I going to do now? I, I don't understand. This is sad. But I've got other things that I have been working on. I've been having so much fun. This right here, I finished another hat. This is beautiful. This right here is uh, Big Twist Winter. And, and I've got three different varieties of the Big Twist Winter. I don't understand Joann's. I, I really don't. I like shopping there. I like buying their yarns. Hello. I mean, it's pretty obvious. But they have a multiple, a variety of yarns under the label Winter. And they're different compositions, different yarn weights, and completely different looks. It's just, I don't understand it. I just, I don't. And then they're not in all the stores. You know, I think it's in some of the largest or large earth stores. They might have a few skeins and it's hit or miss on whether you can get it out of line. I don't understand their marketing. I don't understand what's going on with them. I really don't. But if you do get a chance to see this in person, that sparkle, it is gorgeous. It's a worsted weight, uh, number four, easy to work with, 180 yards, uh, retails for $8.99. If, and then of course, you know, Joanne's has sales. If you get a chance to see it in person and you like it, grab it. Cause you probably won't see it again. I, again, I have no idea what they're doing. It's the weirdest thing ever. Oh, this is the um, Alpine hat. Uh, I don't have my pattern right here. That's okay. So it's the Alpine hat that you've probably seen all over. If you've seen the color work, it's very, very popular right now. Um, I did some modifications because I was using worsted weight yarn and uh, let's see. 20, 40, 60. Um, I did 100 stitches. Okay, so I cast on 90 and then increased. That's just the way that I did it because I think I'd already had it cast on, whatever, and then decided what I was going to do with it. So did that, 100 stitches. And once I got this big flower, which is definitely this huge flower right here, is the alpine pattern along with this over here. And then I started to this little piece right here and this little bit right here was the next part of the pattern. And I realized that's gonna be a really long hat and I didn't want it that long. There's there's at least that much more left or something along that line for the pattern. So I decreased it and did some color work that I thought was pleasing or pleasing enough, right? So that part is my own, um, what do you think? 
I mean, is that kind of cool? I mean, look at that. That's, that's pretty awesome, right? So that is my own portion as far as the decreases. But yeah, the color work right here, definitely not my pattern. But you know, sometimes we have to do that. If we're used to me talk about gauge, right? You know, and, and this right here, if I would have finished exactly as the pattern was written, the hat would have been, for me, I would think too long. This works. It's nice. It's slouchy, right? There's plenty of room. But I didn't want to add another couple of inches. To me, that would be too much. So I left it like this. And then what are you going to do? I mean, I wasn't going to pull it out. It'll fit somebody, right? That's my motto, right? It will fit someone. It'll, it is beautiful. Um, so figure out a nice, pleasing way to do the decreases. I think I did pretty well. And I love the way this yarn stripes through. Again, if you do get a chance to see it and you like it, grab it because I mean I don't understand them that's just all there is to it so what are we up to right now uh that's four projects that is four completed projects this week that is crazy but I have more but wait there's more I do I have more last week I had a lot of things that I think were closer to being finished but I just didn't get over that edge I just didn't get a chance to finish them because you know uh life uh this week after Wednesday, I don't know what, what kicked in. I, Christmas time, I am more prolific on my knitting and crocheting. I really am. This is a historical, I haven't tracked in the last couple of years, but I've tracked previously how many projects I've made throughout the year, how many balls of yarn that I use, just, you know, out of curiosity. And no one made me do it. I was just curious. And I, I have a trend at the Christmas time, um, you know, around October until the end of the year, that's when I am the absolutely most pro prolific with my knitting and crocheting. And this week, no exception. So I got this one done. Look at this. Look, oh, that's not part of it. This is a gorgeous hat. I used uh, the Queensland Perth, which is a, oh, number one so a fingering weight uh wool yarn gorgeous and then i added those sequins look at that and that sequence what do i have one over here i thought i had a i don't know oh here we go the sequence is like this and obviously the green and this is lena gatto um made in italy uh palettes Let's see look at this there we go and let's see, the composition of this, uh, accent yarn to run with the base yarn. So it doesn't really say, or I'm not seeing it. I don't know. 120 or 195 meters, approximately 25 grams. I used a good chunk of it, not all of it with the, with the green and it's, I don't know what shelf I put the rest of it on, but putting the two together, I'm not going to lie. This yarn to me was a pain. I've used other sequin yarns, but it just, can you see that chain? Like when it's on the, on the label, you can see that chain like there. My needle kept getting stuck in that. So it wasn't a mindless, good way to put it. It wasn't a mindless um, knit. I've made this particular pattern three times now. Uh, I've got it in my head. It's easily memorized, you know, it for a lace and everything. It really is very easy to memorize. And I didn't have any issues, but um, I, I also made a different one with pal with the uh, sequins, but it was a different sequin yarn, and that yarn was easier to work with. But this one I had to pay attention to because I kept snagging that little chain, that fine chain, uh, and then the other one I made didn't have a runner yarn with it, so that one was an easy one. But I thoroughly enjoy this. One of the things that I did differently, this is a free pattern, and I'll link that down below. I did a uh, corrugated ribbing right here. Well, I didn't, um, I did it too loose, right? Okay, so the, the edge of it, and it was just curling because that, that it just does, right? So it was curling and that was driving me nuts. It didn't curl so much when it was on my head, but I just, I, okay, we all have our quirks. I'm just going to throw that out there. We all have our quirks and it was driving me batty, which I don't understand because I end up giving away a lot of my hats anyway. So what's the chances that this is the one that I was going to keep? So did it really matter if it drove me batty? You know, someone's going to love it. It's beautiful. It sparkles. I mean, hello. Um, so what I did, 
because it drove me nuts, is I took one of my smaller crochet hooks and I put a stitch in each stitch all the way around and I did two rows of front post double crochet all the way around you know, front and then normal, front and then normal, right, to give it that, that crocheted ribbing look to add to it. And now, when it's just laying flat like that, it doesn't curl up, it doesn't bother me as much, and I think it's cute. And I like to wear my hat slouchy like that, and then you've got that blue line right there. So, what do you think? What do you think with all the sparkles? I think it is going to be just absolutely wonderful. Whether I keep it or not, somebody's going to absolutely love this. This is gorgeous. This is my second one made using the Queensland Perth yarn. So I obviously liked it, right? And just love the colors. And it was a lot of fun to work with. It was definitely a joy. Again, this one was a different sequin. Mm, wasn't too thrilled with the sequin on this particular one. The look, yes. The working with it, not so much. But, you know, your mileage may vary. I mean, it might not be uh, difficult for you. Maybe it was my needles. Could be. Maybe I needed a more blunt needle or something, and, you know, the, the sharper needle was snagging within that yarn. So maybe next time I'll have to try that. Change my needles. All right. I have more. Can you believe that? I actually have more. There is, I have worked on more than just that. That is crazy. So we've shown uh, the um, Boggy Creek. Let's see. I don't know. Did I have this one finished before? I don't remember. But I got it finished. I did. Look at that. I measured it out and it works. So I don't know if I showed this one or not, but I'm going to show it to you because I don't remember. So this is a virus meets granny style blanket. So nice big square, big twist yarn, uh, value acrylic, easy care, worsted weight, and beautiful, fun colors. I love that orange. I'm thinking I showed this. I think I did. Tell me down below. Am I going crazy? Well, maybe don't ask that part. Don't answer that part. Don't, don't answer that part. Just answer, did I show you this already? I don't know. Well, I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm going to pretend like I did. Maybe I did. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. I, I don't know. So this is going to go to Camp Boggy Creek. This is uh, one of, I've got um, two of them done and one more on the needles. So I want to go ahead and try to get all three of those done. And I've got a bunch of boxes sitting around me. And if there's room in a box and I'll weigh it because, you know, shipping's kind of, oh, yeah. And uh, who knows? I might start another one. Why not? I mean, I got all these beautiful colors from Joanne. I mean, why not make a third or a fourth? I mean, it's, it could happen. So this one, I'm having so much fun with these. I did my oblong, right? So working with that and I bought that green. I needed the green again. And you know what, what, what I ended up with is this one. I don't know if it's the six. I don't have the ball band. I don't know if it's the exact same color and just a different dialect, which it probably is, but that's okay. So there is a difference on this right here. I don't know, can you tell us? So these two rows are one shade of green and this is another. And I thought about pulling all of it out to make it just that one shade. I'm like, why? It looks fine just leave it. So I've got that little bit of a different shade between here. And then I've got um, my blues. What did I do with my blue? And then this is going to be the next color up. Isn't that going to be nice? Look at that. So I'm going to put that one up next and I'll continue to measure it and I'll go progressively different colors of blue to, to work on that one and get this done. But I like the fact that I've got this oblong and I love that, you know, it's kind of like a a, a starburst or a geode to me, the way that I, you know, starting with that and then moving out with all the colors, it just makes me so happy. I, I really hope that whomever ends up receiving these blankets, it makes them as happy as it has me to make them and to be able to put them together and imagine a child seeing that and going, that's the one that I want. I want that blanket. I want to snuggle up with that. I want that blanket to remind me of how, how I was at camp and, and, and my time at the camp and everything. So I'm having such a blast making these. I, I made one and I thought that's where I was going to leave it. And now this is my third one. So I, 
I'm hooked. I'm just, I'm hooked. That's all there is to it. It's yeah, it's, that's just, it's okay. It's, that is how that works. So I'm having a blast with all that. And what are we up to now? So I've had, um, the blanket and two stockings and that and one, two, three, four, one, what, six, six projects, six. And I didn't think I was, and then working on that. And I've got something else in my car, my car knitting that I put about an inch or so on. It's a top that might be for my granddaughter. Yeah, it'll be for my granddaughter, right? Probably for the baby. But I'm working on a top slash dress because, you know, her age, it might fit more as a dress and she can grow into it more as a top. Um, but that's in the car. I'm not going to go out and get it. It's, 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 no, I don't, I don't want to. It's cold today. We got some snow. We did. Colorado, we finally got some snow. We don't have a lot. But it, it got cold. So we got that going on. And then, you know, last minute knitting, because that's just how that works. We're going to grab things. One of my daughter's friends uh, had commented, she's like, Oh, can you make me a sweater? No, no. My, my daughter's like, No, no. And she's like, Well, how much would it be? My, my daughter's like, No, mom's not making you a sweater. She's like, Well, give me a price. What do we say? $1,000. If mom made you a sweater, it'd be at least a thousand dollars. But that's my daughter. <laughs> Talk about looking out for me, right? It's like, no, I'm not making a sweater. She's like, well, will you make me a scarf? Like, like Rachel's, will you make me a scarf? And uh, yeah, okay. So that's what prompted my last Joanne's trip was to get the yarn to make her a scarf. And that was one of the other winter yarns, the um, black sparkle. Do I have a whole one down here? Do we have a whole one here? I might. I might have a whole one in my bag. But that was the, yep, I do. Okay. That was this one right here. Uh, so this is 97% anti-pilling acrylic, 3% polyester, big twist winter, 65 yards, 100 grams, so three and a half ounces. And yeah, it just, okay. Great sale. It was a 50% off sale and I had some other coupons. So it really brought that price down. And I got five of them to go ahead and make a scarf. Now, granted, if I would have paid attention, which I wasn't, I was just trying to guess in my head on the last bulky weight scarf I made, because bulky weight is not a weight that I normally use. So I don't have that just programmed in my brain where I know what I need and how much I need. Now, again, smart person would have done this. Oh, wait, what do I want to make? A hat and a scarf, maybe? Five balls. Or one ball for a hat. Or, hey, I just want to make a scarf. Four would have done it. But I bought five because I didn't pay attention to this. Guess what? I use four balls. This is my full ball and I've got a partial of the other one. I don't know if this is going to come off really well. This thing, I mean, yeah, look at the shimmer on that. It sparkles something fierce. Oh yeah, you can see it a little bit. But this is Oh my gosh. I did a reversible cable and on each side, I put the seed stitch. So this is the same regardless of how you wear it. There's no difference on that. And then you look at this with what I have on. No, I'm not keeping it. This is a gift. But with what I have on, how elegant, you know, just adding that touch of something, it'll give you that warmth that dresses up anything. Um, this is going to be a wonderful, well-received gift. So I did this in two days, just to give you an idea. Bulky weight works really crazy fast. I'm not a fan of using size 15 needles, which is what I used for this. Um, they're, they're very cumbersome for me. You know, hey, if you work with them and they work great for you, more power to you. Don't change. You like it, you keep it. Um, it's a little bit cumbersome and a little more difficult for me, but I did it. Okay. And it went really fast. Like I said, there's 65 yards in each of these and that goes pretty fast on size 15s. I mean, it is crazy fast. So got this done in two days. So I do have that. I can go ahead and get this over to my daughter. She's going to see her friend and everything. So she can have that for her Christmas present too. Um, so I was really happy to to have completed this in a timely manner i mean oh my gosh yes please let me let me just go ahead and just jump on a new project let's cast on something else right uh but that's okay you know what else i just thought of 
you look at all the things that were finished. I, well, I guess this counts as a beginning and an end, right? So there are two projects, if you want to count these little guys as one. I mean, I made three of them. We can count it. So that one was started and finished this week. This was started and finished this week. And all of the other ones were finished, which means they were whips previously. You know, different lengths of time, but they were whips previously, right? They weren't done in just a week. So it's like five projects that I finished off that were on my plate. That's pretty cool. That's that's pretty cool. I still didn't do that that beautiful scarf. No, that beads and the whatever. I really would like that scarf, but I still mm -mm, no. Got to got to work on that. Got to get over that, right? But you know, take the win, right? Take the win. Don't you know? I'm like, mm -mm, don't don't look at the things that you didn't do. You know, because there's always something, right? But what a what a wonderful time period to we're getting ready to go in the new year. We're, we're right there. I mean, it is Christmas. It is Christmas. We're, we're going to be in the new year in a week. I mean, that's just crazy. And, and I've got that many projects off my plate, you know, so I get to go in the new year cleaner, fresher, whatever you want to call it. Right. You know, how fun is that? You know, and I want to start something else. Yes, I do. I did swatch some stuff. Um, I swatched some stuff with my arcane fibers. I had the, uh, the St. Nick color with the, um, uh, fingering weight and I don't know where I'm going with it, but I, I started to do some stuff with a, um, a garter stitch and going back and forth with it. Ah, one moment. I'm going to grab that. Okay. So I have that. So here I, I have two skeins of that. I've got six colors that I got and two skeins each. Cause I really didn't know what I was going to do with it. This is the Arcane Fibers. This is the Saint Nick colorway. Look at that. And we just watched the, the uh, Netflix Saint Nick and everything with, this was the Kurt Russell Santa Claus. Oh my gosh. Ooh, yes. Just saying. Uh, so this is the gorgeous hand dyed fingering weight yarn, right? And I wound it. Right. And I had, I, you know, my winders just, mm. It's the winder, just going to throw it that way. And had some issues with it, not the yarn, but my winder. Um, I think it took me three times to get this because my winder was doing some, hmm. If you, if you had a ball winder that's getting a little on the edge, what in these things can break? I'm just, what? What? But is, yeah, uh-huh. But I got it because I persevered, right? It's like, yes, I am going to get this ball of yarn wound up. And I'm going to start something. I'm going to cast on something. So what do I have here? So I started. And what I wanted to do is movement. I love this yarn. And, and you know, with not just this yarn, but our uh, variegated yarns, our yarns that just have a lot of color in them or something along this line, I like to see what type of uh, different stitches, different working in different angles. Noro does a good job on that with their patterns. They'll, they'll do things on the bias, you know, some things that are starting this way and then the sides are this way and then they might put some angles on there, what have you. So the movement of the yarn. So I thought, well, I'll do something like garter stitch, which is what this is on fours, I think. I think I read fours. Yeah, size fours. I don't know why, just because they were probably sitting next to me. And look at that. Okay, so you can see that. Oh, see, you know, sometimes unless I'm like right here talking to you and everything and looking in the camera, I can't always see the colors where they're moving quite the same. So I just did some increases right here. So you get this bottom triangle right here and just increasing on both sides. And I slipped the first stitch of each row. And then it's my own pattern, whatever. Just this like right here. And then... You see how I kind of did that and everything, and you can see that line going down. And I've got the same thing over here coming back. So there's some movement on that, and I would like that. But I'm not sure when I turned my stitches, when you look at it in person, I mean, it's not bad. When I turned my stitches, I didn't wrap or anything right here. And to me, it looks a little sloppy. Maybe not. I don't know. Or I was thinking maybe do it very intentional and do a yarn over there make it very intentional make it part of the pattern but I don't know if I want to continue or not because I'm doing this on size fours but I wanted something squishy I wanted it soft 
and then it's going to angle a little bit, but I mean, I love it with what I'm wearing too. This is, this is stunning, but I wanted to see how things were flowing. So I did this this week too. Yeah, it's not a project. I'll probably end up pulling it out because I'm not sure where I'm going with it, but uh, that was my stuff. So not only did, did I do, you know, finish things crazy, I got to play with new yarn wound up yarn and got to play with new yarn and this stuff is so soft and so squishy and I look at that look at oh wow you can really see that look at the color the way I the way the colors are going yeah you can see the different angles I love that that is gorgeous and then I was thinking on I've got the busy bee color too of winding that one I didn't you know because I had to finish my stocking and stuff but all kinds of excited. I've got different things in my head on what I want to do. Um, you know, I was thinking of writing this one down and that's one of the reasons why I would probably have to pull it out and be very meticulous on what I'm doing. Not just, well, I think I did this. And I think at that point is where I would either um, do yarn overs or do wrap and turns, which I didn't, I just turned, right? You know, do different things along that line and try to figure out a um, mathematical, easy progress on, you know, going back and forth because I was doing some short rows, but, but going back and forth and everything to where if you were to repeat it, it would just be one of those that would just, when you're working on it, that just makes sense that uh, you, you can recognize in your knitting. So I'm trying to do something along that line that is comfort, um, like a potato chip or a popcorn knit. Um, and what I mean by that is just mindless right you're you're just like before you even know it you're like what I did another inch are you kidding me um but something along that line that makes sense so had a little design party in my head right we'll, we'll see how that works I even scribbled something out on paper it doesn't look anything like that but you know I tried right I tried right <laughs> my my hand drawing and artistic abilities they're really not there so you know trying to draw something out and and trying to sketch out like like normal people would yeah that doesn't that doesn't that doesn't work too well I know <laughs> I'd like to and I'll get it out once in a while but it doesn't it doesn't come across that way well everybody I'm gonna go I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go in play with my stuff and figure out what my next cast on and, and, and crochet project because I'm probably gonna make two. I don't know. You have any suggestions? Yeah. Cause I just finish things. I get to start stuff. Yes, I do. I finish stuff. It's time to start something. What should I start? Help me out. Help me out. T tell me what I should start. I'm not saying I'll start it, but you know, tell me what you think I just, <laughs> full disclosure, full disclosure, tell me what you think I should start. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Everybody, you guys have a great day, night, evening, whatever it happens to be. It has been such a joy talking to you and taking time on Christmas day to look at all the projects and all the beautiful things and have fun together. And, you know, I got my sparkly shawl scarf that I've got for, you know, I don't know, like an hour or two before I give it up. <laughs> you know, that type of thing. Just enjoy the day. All right. Bye, everybody.